Well, back to have another crack at the E-Dye um, OEM kit. Uh, kit, sticks that I got. Uh, as they've been purchased, Marcus is getting them sent to him over east and kind of pointed a Buildzoid video out to me where, where uh, Buildzoid was um, overclocking them as well. And got up to some ridiculous frequencies now. Uh, he was using Z390, so um, I'm on Z270. And may not quite get there, but uh, it's the Apex board, so if anything's got a chance in the Z270 range, it is this motherboard. And I might just have a crack at pure frequency. Saw a couple of things Bill I did when he mucked around with them. Yeah, just thought I'd revisit it anyway before they uh, go over to the Eastern States. Okay, so I've hooked up just one stick of the OEM e in there, uh, the Apex. It's going to find a max frequency, I suppose. An external red pump hooked up. Good over here running now. Now, put in, um, just went in and said manual uh, for uh, control. Uh, auto manual XMP, I've got to select the manual. And 3600 where I left off before. Just left everything else at auto, see what had happened. Wouldn't boot. Um, press the retry button three or four times. So, I put in what I ended up with last time, a 16, 19, 19, 36. Uh, at 1.5 volts, by the way. Uh, I've said that before, but set that before. So, anyway, I just put it up at that. Just a, a progression video. Oh, there we go. We're back. Um, I tried um, 37, 33, and didn't like it at whatever times I had that. But uh, I thought I'll just do a big jump up. Kind of like Bill Zoid did in his video, throwing a bone over to him there as well. Um, he started this, so <laughs> 4,000, uh, 1925, 2542. It's there. That's 2133 at 4,000. Well, I haven't moved on yet. I just thought I'd run a Super 5 32M run and it passed all the way through. The score isn't totally impressive, eight minutes at six, but. Um, the fact that it passed is impressive enough. I should point out that last um, uh, voltage was at 1.9 uh, when I did 4000. I'm at uh, 4133 at the same voltage, 1.9. I guess we keep moving on. Here it is passing 32M prime, uh, th super fly, sorry. Just under eight seconds of time doesn't really matter. It's the fact that it was stable RAM wise enough to pass that. So at 41 or 75, it's okay. I did put the TRFC up to 1023 upon a friend's advice. So we'll keep going. So up there, I actually, um, a while ago when I switched to 1.9 volts, I also put my IO and SA at 1.2 and 1.225. So then it'll overvolt and make it unstable in that way. Yeah, right? at 41.85. It didn't like uh, when I put up BCLK to go 4266 straight away, so I pulled back. Uh, to scale back up again. Um, I haven't run uh, Superfly on this or anything like that, but it just booted in fine. Not 2185, it's past uh, Superfly. Uh, a little bit of mucking around with it, but uh, just a nudge under 4200 at the moment. T-Raz 45. I changed um, the setting I was given back to auto for TRFC, and that's sitting at 450. Seems to be a little bit better actually. So there you go guys, to sum up and end the video, rather than do it abruptly. Um, the die has got up to just under 4200, rated at 2133. Sure, it wasn't just a matter of leaving out auto timings, but <coughs> um, I've actually sold these to someone and they've got to be sent off, otherwise I'd test the other stick and I'd go max dual channel, all that sort of stuff, but um, I've got enough stuff around me to test that hasn't even been gotten to, etc, etc. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll post these off and let the new owner play with them a little bit further, but, uh, hmm, interesting. Um, the, as Bill Zoid was saying in his video, you can see where the uh, extra chip's supposed to be there for the, for the server-type memory with the server PCB. But, um, yeah. Uh, got another vid to post up as well. Uh, check that out on the other side there. It's going to be um, uh, 3930K 
on a uh, Rampage 4 on an AOO to start with and see how far that'll go. I already know, but anyway, uh, see how far that'll go. And uh, uh, eventually get that over onto a chiller as well. So um, hopefully I can keep some multi-platformed content coming in for you. Uh, feel free to put some stuff in the messages or PM me if there's particular platforms you want looked at. Um, there's a range of platforms here, a range of memory, uh, CPUs, graphics cards, different types of cooling. Yeah, Pl platforms pr prepared already, so let us know how you go. What's next?